We take the history of mankind as a day. The state comes into being at about 11.30 at night and it becomes hegemonic at 11.45 or 11.50. People don't like politicians. They don't, they, people know who they are. We can actually be morally consistent. You don't have to live in this world where you pick which criminal you think is gonna be slightly better than the other one. The state of warfare allows the state to justify a lot of infringements on personal and community liberty. America uses jihadi, Saudi-backed, Sunni, suicide bomber terrorists for American imperial ends. If a larger number of people want to do something that would otherwise be morally wrong, does it become morally permissible? Instead of saying, why don't we work on an arrangement where people who think one way can just live according to those ideas and people who think another way can live that way. We feel like we have to win and triumph over our enemies. There has to be one way to think that dominates the entire country. You need some mechanism such that when I take an action, I bear most of the net costs. And on the market, that's mostly true, though not perfectly true. But on the political market, it's almost never true things that call into question the existence of our form of governance, borders, police, prisons. What the states keep out of history textbooks are the things that call into question the existence of the states themselves. A genuine open market relies on the contributions and the insights of the whole community. Anarchists does not mean you want chaos. That just means I want to be responsible for myself. I don't want a master.